Hello, in today's video we're going to look at graphing two variable statistics on a scatter plot as well as creating a best fit line to observe the data and the trend that we see. So today we'll be using our TI Inspire calculator and we're going to be using data from Valencia College about hours of sleep and GPA. I'll put the link in the uh, notes for this video so that you could go to this page if you want to follow along. So first what we'll do is let's open up our new document with the data or with the list and spreadsheet. So list and spreadsheet and we're going to have sleep and we are going to have GPA. Okay so with those two sheets now what we can do is let's look at the data here. So here we're going to put all our hours of sleep in one and our GPA in the other. So if we start off we have 8, 7, so 8, 7, and so on. So here you can see I've entered the rest of the data for sleep. Again we're going to do the same thing on the GPA side. Again here 3.1, 3.4, 2.0, so we'll just start putting that in at 3. And I'll finish putting that data in if you would like to join as well. Do that for a second and I'll pick it back up when all the data is. So here you can see I finished entering my data. I have 18 data points of both sleep and GPA. Scrolling up you can see that every row is filled with both columns. So now once I have my data entered I'm going to add a new page and in our document we do that by dot control hitting the dock button and we're going to go to data and statistics. Here we have all our data points out in space. We want to scroll down to the x-axis or the bottom of our screen and click here to add a variable. And here we want to look at, this is where our dependent variable goes. So in this case we want to look at sleep and how that causes GPA. So here we can see sleep, one person gets four hours, six, seven, and so on. Here, on, then scroll over to the y-axis. On the y-axis, Let's click, and this is where we're going to look at GPA. So now we have a nice graph of sleep versus GPA. So this is our scattered plot with two variables telling us sleep versus GPA. So if, on, for instance, I get six hours of sleep, I would expect a GPA maybe in the two range. If I get nine hours of sleep, probably in the threes. Okay. So now how can we really look at this is by fitting a best fit line to it. To fit a best fit line to this data, we're going to go to Menu, look at number 4, which says Analyze. Under Analyze, we're going to go to Regression, number 6, and we'll click on Linear Regression there, Show Linear. And we want the MX plus B, so our slope-intercept form of a line. So I'm going to go back so you can see this again. So Menu, Analyze, number 4, Regression, number 6, and then we're going to Show Linear, MX plus B number one. Click on that and there comes our line. So here's our line that we can use. Here is the equation of the line. I can click and drag this out of the way. I don't like it sitting right in my data point so I'll probably just move it down to the bottom here where I can still see it but I can see all my data points. And what this is telling me is based on the number of hours of sleep you get I can estimate my GPA. So if you slept five hours, we would put our x as five, and our y, when we were done calculating, would be our GPA. So this is how we do make a scatter plot and create a best fit line. Uh, look for our next video, we'll probably be talking about finding the correlation of a scatter plot and whether data relates to each other or not. Thank you very much again for watching, and thank you for Valencia College for providing our data for this set and uh, if you want that data to see if you can make your scatterplot look like mine go to the link below. Thanks!